Mika, great to see you at our TC Cadillac desk, as always. Congratulations. Well done out there today. Tough first set, and then you, you really seem to just crank it up a notch in that second set. Oh, yeah, I mean, it was it was not easy for sure. Conditions were quite uh, quite challenging. Um, I felt like I played really good first set uh, as well. I was up 5-2. I had many, many opportunities. Just, you know, I felt like didn't really convert them. She played also well at some at some uh, uh, at some stage and uh, a bit more more free. Uh, but uh, yeah, it was it was definitely tricky. Uh, but I'm glad that I was able to um, you know, stay stay strong in that first set, and kind of gave me a little bit more more confidence going into the second set. And uh, I started off serving that in the second set really well, and yeah, closing out uh, was uh, <laughs> was not easy, but I'm I'm glad that I made it through. You played a you played a tremendous match against Zhang in the in the previous round, and then you continued that great tennis here. One of the things you seem to be doing so well is really attacking your opponent's second serve. Today, you you really did that well against Katie. What do you feel at the moment you're executing? The the best in your game? Well, I think I'm pretty known for that, you know, yeah. for the return, attack, and serve. I've been doing it for about 20 years now. At a very high so, level. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, it's not something new, but it's definitely the tennis, you know, is evolving. It becomes more and more powerful, more and more aggressive. So I'm trying to also elevate my game. Um, I've had a lot of success with the way I've been playing for many, many years, but I would like to still improve and take it to another level that uh, that I can compete against the best players. And that, that's to, to kind of shoot for that for those uh, for those results so I need to to be able to elevate my game as well and uh, I'm looking forward to the challenge it's interesting you, you talk about e elevating and continuing to evolve as the game moves on and um, you've been at the top of the game you know what it is to win these massive events um, Every few years, the game continues to evolve. What do you think has shifted the most in the last three, four years? Well, definitely the physicality, you know, is is definitely evolving. The, there's a lot of young girls, really, really powerful. Um, definitely some of the equipment um, helps uh, towards that. And uh, but uh, we also have the courts that become slower, uh, you know, which uh, which is something that I don't really understand why. And the hard courts become slower than some of the clay courts already. So, um, but. Yeah, the game is good. Uh, there's uh, so much competition now, and I think that's that's amazing uh, because it, it uh, I think it keeps everybody kind of on their toes. They're like, oh, you cannot really slack. You need to keep keep improving. Um, I do think there's a lot more science in sports now, in all the sports, not only just tennis. Um, tennis is actually probably far behind than, than some <laughs> other sports. But yeah, I think there's a lot of girls that uh, that work on, not only on tennis skills but physicality, you know, and uh, um, and uh, eyes and everything, so I, I think that's, that, that really helps. We saw a uh, chat with Elena Rabakina earlier today, and last year she was very close to the Sunshine Double, wasn't able to get it. You're one of the very few players who've been able to do it in, in 2016. What's the biggest challenge in being able to pull that off? I think the biggest challenge is that the whole month you have to stay in that go zone, you know, like it's it's really uh, draining, not, I don't, of course physically is, is demanding and stuff, but I think to keep your concentration day in and day out, uh, because you don't really have that time where you can just like, you know, breathe. You have uh, some some days off, but you still have to practice. You still have to keep your body in check. You still have to be in that routine. Um, so I think that would be the probably the toughest. At least it was the toughest uh, uh, for me. Uh, and yeah, everybody is you know keep reminding you of that every day. It's like, oh, you close <laughs> Sunshine Double. You close Sunshine Double. So you kind of have to, you know, block that out. And I think uh, that's why Ego was able to do it because she's you know mentally really strong, where she can you know. Uh, kind of separate herself from from the noise. So yeah, give us um give a, give us a little Leo update. We saw him. He saw him throwing a good football the other day. His arms yeah. looking good. Is he mixing up a few more sports? What's uh, what's the latest? Yeah, he's all he's all to sports. He doesn't really want to do jujitsu anymore. So I, we've taken a little break, but I'm gonna put him back in because I I just need him to be strong and and be able to protect <laughs> himself at any time. It's a good skill set. Yeah, skill set. but uh, he's actually at hockey practice right now. So I'm uh, I'm I'm missing that. Uh, but it's 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 okay. He actually came to watch my match against um, against Zheng, uh, which was a little bit of a surprise for me <laughs> and I get me a little bit nervous but I actually enjoyed it because he's at that at that age where he can understand what I do and he can follow and he really gets into tennis like he really gets into supporting so um, he's uh, all sports um, also loves school so we're doing we're doing pretty good actually amazing and I think you'll understand why you missed practice you had a little business that you had to take care of which you took yeah. care of well yeah they have live streaming
streaming, so I'm just gonna go back, <laughs> do my bike and live stream his practice. I know, I know you got a quick turn around, Vika, so we'll let you go get some rest, but thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. 2016 champ, ladies and gentlemen, Vika Azarenka taking out Katie Bolter. Straight sets to move on into the round of 16, and she's stealing our Tennis Channel Cup. More in a second.